strain pyroplasma 60 with several different types of metal. Uh, we're going to start off with a 16 gauge rusted piece of metal so you can see that it's even got paint on it. So you can see actually how well this machine cuts on thin material. And we've already started uh, demonstrating right here on it, but we're going to show you how it does in real time. Now, we also have, this is 3 quarter by 9 expanded metal. Pilot arc on a machine helps keep the, uh, keeps the arc going to, to uh, transfer over into the next cut that you need to make on expanded metal. Now, a pilot arc machine is really good for cutting expanded metal. A standard high frequency machine without pilot arc is not very good at doing this because you have to restart the arc every time. Ready to start the machine. I'm going to reach around back, flip the machine on, check my air pressure under flow. striations you can see the lines of the cut you can see how straight down the lines are right here they're moving back toward the rear angle of the cut that's normal the thicker the metal you get the more pronounced that drag is going to be those drag lines are going to be sweeping toward the rear more and more the thicker the metal that you've got or the lower amperage you're using if you're using too low of amperage you'll see a lot of drag lines that are running to, towards your rear. But you can see it's a very clean, very straight cut. Nothing wrong with it. It's ideal. And it off because on such a piece of thin metal like this, you can drag cut. Uh, we're going to have the machine set around 25 to 30 amps, and we're going to be cutting this. Actually, we can go down to 20 amps or whatever on something like 16 gauge. So I'm going to crank it up. We're going to start, you're going to see the pilot art light, and I'm just going to start freehanding some stuff. Nothing fancy, but we're just going to show you how to cut, and how clean and crisp the cut will be, how narrow the curve will be. quarter expanded metal. You're going to see in this series of shots here, you're going to see the pilot arc and you're going to see the uh, cutting arc engage and disengage. You're going to see how that works in conjunction to keep this uh, expanded metal cutting down the length. I'm going to use my guide here. Give me just a little bit of uh, keep me going right in the middle of these, uh, uh, of these uh, lines here where the expanded metal is. All right, so we're going to start machine up now. I've got it set about 40 amps. It helps to sometimes overset it on expanded metal, and uh, it cuts right in real fast and keeps your speed going real well.
Now you can see I cut it pretty clean here. Just had a little bit of a uh, piece where I messed, uh, jiggled the handle a little bit, didn't get all the way cut through. We've got four one quarter inch pieces of metal. Uh, I'm going to have the machine turned up pretty much wide open. That's going to be a total of one inch cut. And we're going to be uh, observing as I cut, and you're going to be able to see how the machine cuts near capacity. of one quarter inch plate metal stacked together. Stack cutting is more difficult because you sometimes have air pockets in between the pieces of the metal. The goal of stack cutting is to squeeze all that air out that you can, but you do have more difficulty because there's a, a little bit of oxygen or air that's trapped in between these layers. So it cuts down on your cutting thickness a little bit when you're doing that, but we cut a full clean one inch cut right here stacked together uh, the metal broke away at the end of the cut, just like it should normally cutting. And here is the result. We've got one, two, I don't know if I can break it apart, but three, four pieces of metal that were cut <clears throat> at one time. Now, this is a full cut. The machine is rated for one and one eighth inch cut. That's very easily doable with just a little bit more uh, uh, a little bit slower speed, but you've got a really nice clean cut here. Your drag lines are very good. As you see toward the bottom, they start drifting off toward the rear of the cut, and that's normal for a machine reaching its capacity cut. We've had several different types of cut today, and uh, we've had expanded metal, we've had uh, rusty plate, we've had stacked plate, and uh, we've had thin gauge uh, sheet metal and you've been able to see the machine's capacity on all of these to do it very well. So this is the Power Plasma 60 from Everlast.